Hi, Andrew Wolf here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a little introduction to, or review of, for most of you, the renal anatomy. And of course, we have here the renal artery that flows into the kidneys and coming out from the kidneys is the renal vein. And then we have down here the ureter brings urine down to the bladder. And the draining into the ureter is the renal pelvis, which is collecting urine from the collecting ducts. Collecting ducts are here. And the collecting ducts are inside the renal medulla. And then we have the sort of thick outer layer. So you can see here there's sort of two layers here. We've got the ones with the collecting ducts that make up little striped lines there, and that's the medulla. And then on the outside we have the renal cortex. Now the entire kidney is made up of about one million functional units, and the functional units of the kidney is the nephron, which is made up of the glomerulus, where afferent arterioles run in, and efferent arterioles run out, and then we've got, and I, I'm going to talk about the nephron in my next video actually, but I just want to introduce it here. We've got the proximal convoluted tubule, that leads down to the loop of Henle. And we've got the distal convoluted tubule that drains into the collecting duct. And, you know, the collecting duct sort of picks up drainage from a whole bunch of nephrons as it heads down. Now, just to give you a sort of uh, introduction of how where that's occurring, the glomerulus is almost always in the cortex. So, and there's various levels. We've got different types of nephrons. There's some nephrons that are very high up in the cortex, and there's some nephrons that are way down here near the medulla. And they are nicely called cortical nephrons. And the ones that are close to the medulla are juxtamedullary nephrons. And you know this is a this is important to understand because each of these nephrons has um, a different function and it really has to do with where they are in the kidney. Now and I and I'll talk I'll talk a little bit about that when we talk about the nephrons. So the adrenal cortex is made up of these glomeruli and the proximal and distal tubules um, and some of the loop of Henle. Now some of these nephrons have little tiny loops of Henle that stay inside the cortex. And then the collecting ducts may start up here and then they drain down. Now but many of them have long loops of Henle that extend way down into the medulla. So the medulla is made up of collecting ducts, which is what gives it that sort of striped appearance here. These here are collecting ducts. That, and then also the loop of Henle when it hangs down from some of the nephrons. Okay, but I just want you to understand that the entire kidney is just made up of nephrons. There are no other components. Now, of course, the nephrons include the vasa recta, which is when we have blood flowing in through the afferent arteriole and it flows out of the glomerulus through the efferent arteriole and then it forms a capillary bed and the capillary bed wraps itself around 
the nephron, the rest, the proximal tubule and the loop of Henle and the distal convoluted tubule. And it makes its way down the collecting duct before it manages to drain back into one of the veins. So the nephron, you have to um, remember that the nephron includes the glomerulus, the proximal convoluted tubule, the distal convoluted tubule, and the loop of Henle, but it also includes the capillary bed, which is the vasorectum. And that's just the name for the capillaries that surround the nephron. Okay, so in my next video I will talk about the structure and function of the nephron. And if you want quick and easy access to the channel so you can catch on to that video very quickly, then please click this link here and I will see you in the next video.